Hello everyone and welcome back to the RX Masterclass. In this video we'll be reviewing percentage strength. Let's start off with common IV fluids. These will be needed uh, throughout your pharmacy career and for the Naplex you'll definitely need to know these. So let's start off with normal saline, abbreviated NS, and that is equal to 0.9% NaCl. Okay, so if we have NS that equals 0.9% NaCl, then half of NS is going to equal 0.45%. Some simple math, just divide by 2, 1 half, and then 1 fourth normal saline is going to be half of that. Next, we have D5W, and this is equal to 5% dextrose. For your NAPLEX exam, you'll see that things are measured in weight and volume as reviewed previously, and here you'll see W stands for weight, which when we are solving percentage strengths, we're going to be using grams. And for volume, we're going to be using mLs. Now that we know that, let's get into a couple questions. Throughout this video, feel free to pause the video at any time before I start the question you'll have a little bit of time to pause and, and attempt it yourself. So let's get into it. Number one, how many grams of NaCl are in 500 ml of one half normal saline? So again, pause the video, try it yourself and come back. Okay, so now that you had a chance to attempt that, let's set this up. So here we can see we have 500 mLs in one half normal saline. So to set that up, we're going to have normal saline, which is 0 0.45 grams. And then we're going to have that over 100 mL. And that is going to be equal to X, again in grams over 500 ml. So once you have it set up like this, pretty simple. 225 divide both by 100. And you're going to have x equals 2.25 grams. Okay, next one. How many grams of dextrose are in 500 ml of D5W? Again, pause the video, try it yourself. So we know in D5W, we have 5%, and since it's in weight, it's going to be 5 grams. So setting it up, it's going to be 5 grams all over 100 ml and this is because over 100 ml because it's five percent and we're going to set that equal to x over 500 ml grams and then from there pretty simple you just set up your equation x equals 25 grams Pretty simple. Now let's kick it up a notch. So again, same thing, pause the video and try it yourself. Alrighty, now that you had the chance to try it yourself, let's set this up. We have five grams cool, tar all over 100 gram 
preparation. And we see from the weight to weight, it's going to be grams and grams. Oops, X coal. And we know it's going to be 150 grams preparation because we could see here that's the total weight of the preparation. So now it's pretty simple. We just solve for x. We end up with x equal to 7.5 grams but that's not going to be your answer remember to always go back and ask reread the question and see what it's asking for so here it's asking how many grams are going to be to compound this prescription so we have 7.5 grams and we know the total amount of the compound is 150 grams so we're going to take 150 grams subtract that by 7.5 five grams and then we're going to end up with a total of 142.5 grams and that will be your answer moving on same thing pause the video and try it yourself so let's set this up seven grams all over 200 ml so then we're just going to solve for x So the answer is going to be 3.5 grams or 3.5%. Next, same thing, pause the video, try it yourself. Alrighty, let's set it up. And that's going to be equal to 8 grams or 